Made it up to the first little tower. We're just rolling out the guns, ready to attack the people over there. There are three people. Henry, King Henry, Henry. We went to Warwick Castle for the very first time and we're inviting you to join us as we get lost in the horrible histories maze, walk the walls and towers and experience one of the best birds of prey shows we've ever seen. Come along and join the adventure. So we have made it to Warwick Castle. It is our first time here, first glimpse in the distance, I don't know if you can see that because it's not focusing correctly. And it's Zog! We've got Zog here. Girl I'm excited, I don't know if you can tell. I don't really know what to expect because I've never been here. I've only watched a couple of vlogs of this place. We've got a lot of exploring to do. There's a uh, bird of prey show at 12 and 3, so we're going to catch one of those. Um, we can go up there, which is very high. Um, and I think there's a Zog trail as well, so we might find some more Zogs. A gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. Oh. The casual peacock wandering around, admiring the uh, castle this morning. Hello. You scared of the chainsaw? And we're walking under the tower, under this rather scary looking gate, which hopefully won't drop. <laughs> well, no, that will protect me or anything. But this is us, so we are in search of coffee. The courtyard really opens up. This is pretty impressive as you walk through here, but we have spied a hot drink and snack kiosk. Got ourselves a coffee and a peacock. <laughs> that Disney really is like reminding me of that Disney. That music <laughs> is really reminding me of Disney. I don't even know why. Who knows, but yeah, coffee with a bird. Not your every morning occurrence. So we've decided to start with a walk along the ramparts and up the towers. Yay. You looking forward to this? No. No. <laughs> we've made it up to the first Little tower. We're just rolling out the guns, ready to attack the people over there. There are three people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Coffee's gone to my Yeah, head. you can tell Josh is like coffee. <laughs> so we're heading in to Guy's Tower. Circa 1395 this was constructed. That's old. It's almost as old as you. say no to that one. Oh, lots of spiral staircases. It says there's 500 steps in total all on this wall. All the way round? Yeah, all the way round. Yeah, not all in one go. Oh, that's a lot of steps. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're young. Oh. young and unfit. <laughs> there's a lot of steps, but it's quite a view. Look at that. As we started to walk in. That's how much higher we are. Oh, wow. Oh. This is weird. I'm scared of heights, but this ain't bothering me. Oh, God, I've just noticed that. Don't know how I feel about that. Sharon, have you noticed this? Oh, I was, I was standing oh, no. on there. Don't drop, don't drop your phone down there. It's a long way down. Pants. She's doing great. Luckily. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say that. <laughs> I'm glad that's there, because I'm not surprised after them stairs. You're doing great. Do you want to go down? It's a clear plastic slide on the way down. <laughs> Come on then. Do you want to go first? No. <laughs> I'll go first. You'll go I'll first. Come for the team. <laughs> Just another view as we're exiting the uh, highest point. Oh, time to go. Oh, God. Oh, oh where are they? Are they out there? Oh, they're in there. They're in here. Oh, nearly missed you. Hey guys! It's the halfway exhibition. Ah. We all made it safely down Guy's Tower. Everyone enjoy that? Didn't show yeah. um didn't show mum's hands. Oh no, they where she was gripping so the handrails hand like all rusty and it wasn't gripping that hard. Your, well your hands Clearly were bright orange and ours weren't, so <laughs> it was probably the sweaty palms. They, they look like you just put your hands in a bowl of bowls of fake tan. Puffs. Yeah, fake <laughs> tan. Gonna continue the ramparts and towers walk now. We're heading into this next tower. Just walked in the door, and of course there is a, another set of spiral stairs. These handrails, though, aren't rusty. Nailed it. Nailed it. I think this is just a a walkthrough tower. It's like onto bypass, isn't it? it's a bypass. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ancient bypass. What goes up must go down. 
What do you think Crouching's gonna do? What? Do what you were just doing. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. I don't know what I was doing. You were crouching and you were like... <laughs> I wasn't, he lies. <laughs> Also, it is worth mentioning, if you are afraid of heights, not only Don't is, do it! Not only are these bits open and then you've got these bits here, but it's these bits on the floor. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> it's oh. not great! <laughs> Come on then! I'm coming. Wow, look at this! There's no bridge there, it's not a bridge anymore. How stunning <laughs> is that? Yeah, it's like half a bridge that's gone now. But, oh, this is high. Henry! King Henry! <laughs> what are you doing, you strange boy? That's what they were doing! Oh, okay. It's gonna make our way into the Great Hall now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow. My knight in shining armour. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> so, apparently, this was carved from one single oak tree. I'll bet that took. Building the gardens of Kenilworth Castle. Oh, we're going there soon. Mm. Take a look at that. Very, very bling bling. So we're in the green drawing room. Apparently, there's a secret door in here somewhere concealing a staircase. You have to try and find it. That wasn't very hard. <laughs> well, but yeah, I would never have noticed it if you didn't say. It's a shame you can't go in there and have I mean, a look. Putting a keyhole on it's kind of a giveaway. Heading upstairs now. These stairs are a lot nicer than the towers. They're carpeted with nice wooden banisters. He is creepy. So is that. We get to walk along this bit now that we've come upstairs. And we can see back over this way to the hall that we started in, which is kind of cool. And then on this side, we've got these big stained glass windows. Well, that was pretty impressive, actually. There was loads of different rooms for you to have a look around and loads of information posted around as well. I think that's probably one of the best castles, like, state rooms and that that you can actually when walk, I walk around. around something like that, I get a bit bored, but I didn't get bored in the slightest. They were all different, I think that's what it was, and it, it had, like, audio stuff going on as well. But we are now going to walk up to the Conqueror's Fortress, which involves heights again. <laughs> um, and then Josh is thinking about lunch. Always. Made it to the top of the Conqueror's Fortress. Nice view. They're doing, doing the bird show, and we was going to go to the later one because we thought it'd be quieter. I might do this quite a lot of people behind the tree, never mind. <laughs> Back down on ground level, through the gates, we're going to find the calf. Who's calf? Oh, she's calf the woman that cooks the food. I love calf. <laughs> Come on, calf. So we got lunch. Me and Jason are sharing a sausage roll. Was this cheese and onion? Cheese and onion. Cheese and onion. Girl's gone for sausage roll. Um, what was this? It was a passion summer, fruit. Summer berry cooler. Summer berry cooler. Right, nice that. Nice. <laughs> I challenge you. Anyway, after lunch and our fun with the roaring dragon buttons over there, we're going to take on the horrible histories maze. We're probably going to get lost. Or you. Get lost. Fade. It seems to be smoking in the maze. What are they doing? I mean, they're for children, but we'll take one anyway. I think everyone rushed and did this this morning because there is absolutely no one in this maze other than us. Jason, on your bike. You sure we should be going this way? Oh, what's down there? Oh. Oh, I used to have one of these when I was on the um... chimney sweep duty. No, oh, I was a chimney sweep on the uh, fair. Oh, what are okay. they called? Carnival. Oh, oh as, you, as you do. I was a young boy. Collecting some stamps because. I got my first one. That's what adults do, right? The terrifying Tudors. Come on, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. Are they, all in, here? Are they all in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Another one. <laughs> What's warm in here? It's actually really cool though because each section where you get the stamp is themed to what it is. So like we've just got the First World War stamp and there's like this old phone from the First World War that Josh is trying to work. I was going to order some pizza. <laughs> but it actually looks like we're in the trenches. There's sandbags along here look and you can go through here. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh my god. Oh my god. The grown man can't fit in here. It's like a little glass dome. See you on the other side. Can I see you? You're out there somewhere. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it seems we have lost the girls as well. So hopefully we'll find them on the other end. We've come up to this viewpoint to get a little bit of a look over the maze, but we can't see the girls anywhere. Sharon! Sharon <laughs> the shoes! No. Trying to, still trying to find a way out. <laughs> oh, found another one. That's a clever idea. You just pop your phone in there like that and have your picture done if you're on your own, just like that man just done. I like that, that's cool. We found them! You got them all? No. no, you, we found you. Ow. Coming through. <laughs> it's a Sharon, look. I can't see the other stuff. We specimen. got the Vikings, <gasps> the Tudors. We the found Stuart. three. How many have you found? We found. Woo! Sorry, I nearly fell. I've lost Jason. <gasps> Jason, where you gone? <laughs> Squeeze through. <laughs> so I've lost Jason. Absolutely no idea where he's gone. Jason! Get your leg over, girl. <laughs> Come on, children. Ooh. Leg over. Ooh. Up over. Oh, don't fall over, Sharon. Oh my, that's cheating. <laughs> that's cheating. Why is it? I think it's, it's cheating. probably harder than the way you all done it. <laughs> it probably is. Made it. Nailed well done, it. guys. Nailed it. We've all got a full stamp passport. We've got all our passports stamped. Oh, that was good. I enjoyed that. Now, what are you going to do with it? Sell it on eBay. This is so good. As we've safely made it out of the maze, we've come down some steps to the Mill and Engine House. I didn't even know this place existed. This is really cool. You can actually see the water still flowing through down there. I didn't even know any of this was here. I didn't even know there was a meal well, on the ground. I was just saying to um, Sharon, all the blogs I've seen, no one shows this kind of stuff. No. We're discovering new things and we're discovering them together. Oh wow, look at this. A little bit of sunshine as well. Beautiful. Fun fact as well. It's actually the River Avon. Oh, well, it better not sell us anything, as you just said. <laughs> Stealing my jokes. The size of that fish. That is enormous. Hello, buddy. You sunbathing? Oh, we'll leave you to it. So we've just crossed the bridge over the River Avon and we've made our way to the Warwick Castle trebuchet. Look at this, it is absolutely enormous. I was going to say, it's a lot bigger. When you stand over there, it doesn't look that big, but when you're next to it. Massive, absolutely huge. When we arrived here this morning, I said, oh, I'm really excited to go and have a look at the reconstruction of a trebuchet. And everyone thought I was going completely bonkers, thought I was winding them up. There was some sort of hidden joke in it. Didn't we all? We know what you're like. I know what you were on about. No, you did not know what I was on about. Anyway, this is the trebuchet, and as Sharon said, it was a kind of catapult. Catapult. Test it out. Now we're going to test it out. No. We're going to put Sharon in it. <laughs> no, no, no. And we'll see how far we can fling you. No. There's a water the landing that way. There's a water landing that way. It'll be fine. I want to top land of the castle. Yeah, I might land up on that turret. <laughs> So we just read the sign and it says the trebuchet was actually built in 2005 and it was done to designs from the 13th and 14th century. Sharon's still not willing to try it though. No. Comment down below. Comment Woo! down below if you'd like us to come back and fling Sharon on the trebuchet. Just come round to the peacock garden. Wasn't expecting this, this is beautiful. It is, isn't it? It's like a little hidden gem at the top of the hill. It really is, look how well maintained it is as well. taking our seats for the Falconer's Quest. 
our last thing of the day here at Warwick Castle. Birds of prey are going to come swooping over our head and hopefully not land or poop on us. Well, they probably will. I have returned victorious from the war in France, where I served as a loyal commander to His Majesty King Edward. I will tell you now of the Falconer's Quest. It's up on the bridge. Believe barn owls bring good fortune. Feathers soft. Oh wow. Silent in flight. Whoa. Whoa. Hobby had seen nothing like it before. This was to be a test for Hobby. A test of courage to meet such a grand bird. The sight of this bird took Hobby's breath away. <laughs> that is a quick bird. I can't keep up. Bobby <laughs> found the Harris Hawks to be clever and great fun. He understood why they were so popular in sport and hunting. I. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, that is huge. And the condor. Oh wow. <laughs> That's a lot of birds, I don't know where to look. What a brilliant way to end our day at Warwick that Castle. That was good. I mean, I heard it was good, but I didn't know it was that good. So it, that was come, amazing. Watch that. It's got like a full narrated storyline with it and everything. It was a half an hour show. That was just absolutely brilliant. I and was they just expecting like a 10 minute show. And they were so close. They nearly took your head off. That was just absolutely <laughs> brilliant. And I say end our day here at Warwick Castle. We were just about to leave and then we found these guys down here. going down to the Pirates of the Caribbean or we're going to a dungeon. You can go first. Oh what? Just in case of live people. Oh. How did we nearly miss this? I have no idea. It's called the Kingmakers exhibition. Yeah. It it's just tucked in like the corner. Time. It really smells of old times in here. It's like really strong smell. There's a cat. Oh, there's a teddy cat. Oh. <laughs> I kept watching him. I kept my eyes thinking he's going to move in a minute. Oh crap. <laughs> We was walking down here and one of these guys made Jason jump. It was hilarious. Oh, Creepy, right? That's going to give me nightmares. It's like something from a carry-on movie. <laughs> and I say end our day here at Warwick Castle. That is it for our day here at Warwick Castle. However, we are we about are to head over to our night's lodge. Mm -hmm. a woodland lodge here at Warwick Castle. We are staying the night, so that will be in the next video. So make sure you join us for that. Whew, gotta get my breath back off. I'm nearly getting taken out by a bird. <laughs> Got a nice view of this little street down here. That's really cute down there. Oh, Sharon, there's a blue plaque. Sharon likes to read a blue plaque. She's Where is she? doing something down there. Where? Tying it there. Oh, <laughs> tying her shoe there. Anyway. <laughs> You have to get back off again. Oh. Right, now tap it. Come on, you can do it, come on. Push, push, push. Yay. <laughs>